Hi there. I'm here on my balcony and I wanted to talk to you about the morning painting because the challenge starts tomorrow and I just wanted to share with you a few of the benefits um, of having an art practice like this. Um, it really changed a lot for me when I started doing this so I want to share. So um, ask yourself this question, how do you start your morning? Do you enjoy it? Do you look forward to it? Do you like wake up in the morning and you're still lying in bed and you think, oh yeah, I want to get up, today's going to be exciting. Or is it more like, you know, uh, I don't know, maybe I'll just stay in bed for 10 more minutes or maybe another 10 more minutes <laughs> because it's cozy and warm and I don't really feel like working today or maybe something else is going to happen that I'm not really looking forward to. And I had that feeling quite a lot and I thought, well, there has to be a better way. And um, I heard somebody else say like, um, why don't you do what you like most first thing and I thought yeah that's like the perfect and m so logic thing to do right so um, I started painting in the morning and um, I said well I don't want to like take forever until I am able to do uh, like my regular work stuff um, so I decided to do 10 minutes 10 minutes of painting in the morning and it's so great because um, it just gives me so much inspiration for the whole day and it carries me through tasks that are maybe not so comfortable to do but need to get done um, and it really gives me something to look forward to because I have fun every morning when I'm painting, even, you know, if it doesn't end in a painting that I can hang on the wall because that usually doesn't happen. <laughs> um, usually I just try stuff out or experiment with my art materials and just have a little fun. Um, and I thought I'll just show you one of my sketchbooks that I use for this uh, so you can see for yourself uh, what it looks like um, when I do this. Um, and I do post quite some of my morning paintings because sometimes uh, they turn into something nice and I um, pick up my sketchbook in the afternoon again and um, keep fiddling with it and <laughs> um, actually finish a painting like that happens uh, because sometimes it really is just so inspiring. So I'll turn the camera around and then you can have a look at my sketchbook. All right, so this is page one. <laughs> Nothing special really, right? Um, just color. I really enjoy doing this. This is usually what I end up with when I have no clue what to do. And I just grab my paints and just start doing whatever. Um, so the second page, I think, oh yeah. Three pages of just color. That is really normal for me. And I enjoy it so much because I enjoy all these little things that happen here and Sometimes I will come back to one of these pages way later, like maybe months later, and use a black pen or some china ink and do a drawing on top, and that usually looks really nice. Oh yeah, even four pages. <laughs> okay, um, here I even wrote the colors that I used because I was doing this for a reason that time. I was like trying to get a really nice dark red, maybe something like this shade. And I was trying different reds in combination with different blues 
to see what happens and um, yeah well this is what I got <laughs> and here I don't know I guess I just want to see the color flow on the paper here I was trying something out I was trying to figure out um, like when is the best moment to paint on the background when you want it to be a little bit um, like diluted and not entirely detailed um, so like it still spreads out a little bit on the page and looks like it's part of the background um, and you can see like this was not so bad the background was like almost dry just a little bit sheen like when you just look from the side sometimes you can tell and then I painted these lines on it just to try it out. So it's nothing really special, it's just an experiment. Ah, <laughs> another experiment with these very fun um, crayons. They're like watercolor crayons. And I just, you know, took them and went over the page with very big strokes. And then I took a brush and uh, just paint it with water over it to see if it would flow but it doesn't really it pretty much stays where it was and just like you get these little uh, thingies so I, I'm not so sure if I will continue using them I tried another one here and I thought well maybe it's a nice background because it does give you a lot of texture um, and I did a drawing on top, so yeah. Here I actually ended up with a painting, but I did not finish this in 10 minutes. This is something that took me like probably half an hour. I had these on my desk and I just thought they looked so fun, like the pom-poms. <laughs> Oh yeah, this is also an experiment where I was using masking fluid to um, just try it out um, because I, I got a different kind. It's like a pen, like a marker, but I, get, I guess you get the point by now. It's about having fun and trying things out like here. I started with the drawing in the middle and I didn't really like it <laughs> and then I thought oh I have these white pencils lying around let's just see what happens if I draw with them and then paint on top and here as well like this looks like nothing really um but it was it was really cool because I found out that like this one is really good and gives me a really nice texture that, that I love and then I did this afterwards and I really like how it turned out and you know this one I posted that two days ago and oh yeah I got so inspired with this topic ocean that I picked for the challenge um, I'm so excited about using it I already started <laughs> Oh yeah, this one is also really nice. This was just 10 minutes, like, uh, I bet I took more, I, I think it was like 20 minutes for these because I had to wait for the background to dry so I could put the dots on top. But this one, it was just in one go, except for the little shadow here that I added a little bit later. And this happens too, like this happens a lot to me that I start and then I realize, oh, this needs to dry. And then I don't finish it. So this was like five minutes in the morning or maybe six. And then I stopped and maybe I will add something to tomorrow morning because sometimes I do that too, that I just, that's the last one that I um, start painting one day and finish it the next day. So I hope this gave you a lot of inspiration and a lot of motivation to join me tomorrow 
So I hope I will see you. And if you want to be in the raffle, I will do a raffle with an original painting that is about sketchbook size. Um, then please sign up to my newsletter. You can find the link in my bio. And then you will be entered to a raffle to win one of my paintings. All right, see you soon. Bye-bye.